the Instagram girls that get flown out to Dubai to do unsavory things for, for large amounts of money. Those videos, I'm not going to get into it too much. You can look it up on TikTok if you want to figure out what I'm talking about. Look it up on Twitter. And it's interesting watching people just rag on these women. Just completely go so hard on these women. Oh, that's look at these whores. This is why they dress like this. Anytime you see a girl in Dubai, just assume that she is getting fifty, sixty thousand dollars, and she's about to go get shit on by a bunch of guys. None of you have the smoke for the men. It's interesting to me that a lot of people's first thought is how disgusting that woman is for taking sixty thousand dollars and not how disgusting these men are for paying women to eat their shit. These men are paying these women. They are seeking them out. These women are not seeking these men out. They are being sought out because a lot of men think that they can buy, abuse, and use beautiful women. And the focus that a lot of you have on the women instead of the men tells me that if you were in an, a position that where you could pay fifty or sixty thousand dollars to watch a beautiful woman eat your shit, you would, because you don't like women. She must be one of them girls that's taking that trip. She gotta be one of them. She gotta be one of those that take that trip, and she's upset that she took that trip. There's just no way she's serious about this conversation. These guys are offering women to do disgusting things. These women are running to Dubai full speed to go do it. And you want to blame the guys that's offering it and not the people that's out here willing to do it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know that's against the law because we're talking about it on every platform. People know this is happening. You're going to that man house. He's paying you money to do disgusting things to you and you're a willing participant and you're saying that it's his fault for you running to his house. Y'all could hate me for this take. Y'all could really hate me for this take. This is where I stand in a place where I listen to women and I look at them weird when they tell me about stories that they've been through something. This is where y'all could look at me weird because I always look at it like we're only getting one side of the story. And a lot of women have victim mentalities that they believe that they can go do something that they choose to do. They're choosing to do it and they still blame the guy. This is where I kind of look at it like when girls talk about certain things, I look at it weird. And I, I, I don't want to say nothing because my take gonna be like he's insensitive. He doesn't care. These are independent thinking beings. They have choices. And nobody will ever change my mind when I say we should have never let them out the house. Look at the stuff they talk about. They show us every single year that they need to go back to the house. Every single year that they need to go back to the house. And every content I show you, I'm trying to tell you guys, we was protecting them from themselves. They believe that, imagine the father say, that man is talking about, he's going to do what? Don't go to that man's house. She runs out the house because she's 25. She travels to Dubai, experience that nonsense, and say, dad, it was his fault. He asked me, do I want to do it? And you did it. I did it. And you believe it's his fault? Yes. He should have never asked me. He should have never what? He should have never asked me to do it. If you give me a choice, nine out of 10, I'm going to do what I'm not supposed to do. We have to literally watch them. We let them go date. They pick wrong. They blame the dating environment. They, they, they don't want to improve. They don't work on themselves. They blame everything else. And we'll be like, you don't have to deal with that guy. You don't have to lay with that man. You don't have to give him kids. You don't got to do none of that stuff. It's your choice. Women act like they don't have a choice. And this is why I believe they should come back home. They act like they can't do independent thinking. And y'all look at me like I'm crazy and stuff. Look at their actions. You blame everybody. They don't, they don't believe in accountability. 
They don't believe in accountability. If a person can be held accountable, why will we allow you to make your own decisions? Because when we hold you accountable, you'll be like, what did I do? You went out there and did things that you shouldn't do. Now you're being held accountable for the actions you performed. And they'll be like, well, well, I didn't have a choice. Who forced you? Nobody, but they gave me an option. Okay, and you chose to do what you want to do, right? Yes. You know you chose wrong, right? Yes. But it wasn't my choice, though. Who else made the decision? Nobody, but they gave me an option. You could have said no. Why would I say no? That is the weirdest thing. The question was that you could just say no. Why would I say no? And they talk about being forced and this and this and this. Guys, we have to understand. We kept them in the house for a reason. It wasn't oppression. I will keep telling you, we kept them in the house for a reason. They don't make good decisions. They don't date right. And they sit here and act like the world is offering all this negative. Kim Kardashian sit here and went back to Balenciaga or something like that. After she said it's disgusting what they do to kids and stuff like that, she has kids. And now she's an ambassador for them. Like these women was never supposed to be out the house. They was never supposed to be out the house. We have whatever that lady that's trying to run for president or whatever, talking about some we should um retire at the age that we supposed to die or something like that. We, we the lifespan of a human is too long. 70 should be the cap. We should work until we're 70 years old. Retirement age should increase. It should go to 70. They should have never came out the house. They should have never came out the house. Y'all have to witness what they're doing. We give them too much leeway. And we have to sit here and try to tell them, you are making your own situation reality. We're not forcing nothing in you. We're not forcing you to be anything, do anything. You are making your own independent thoughts and decisions. We're not controlling you. When we let you go out in the world, you have shown us why we kept you in the house. Do you understand why you're in the house right now? Because we see that some for some odd reason, accountability can't stick to you. Accountability can't stick to you. She wants us to understand that there's guys in Dubai seeking out these women, offering them money. You can say no. It's an option. Say no. I know drug dealers. They offer me drugs. I say no. End of the conversation. Sean, do you want to hit this? I am good. I don't do drugs at all. I, I would not do drugs at all. I go on by my day. They go on by the day. That's the that's it. <laughs> that's literally the transaction. They ask me, do you want this? I say no. I go on by my day. People out there, salesmen, they say, Sean, do you want this? I say no. I'm good. I go on by my day. They sit there. Some even try to say, no, nah, man, you know, you, you should be da, 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 da. They try to persuade you. My answer is still no. Women go out there and say, yes, 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 yes. And we tell her, why did you do all this? You don't understand. Look how they shop. Look how most of these women shop. They can't afford it. They shouldn't spend it, but they go ahead and buy it anyway. I regret buying all these things. Why did you buy it? I felt like I just had to say yes and I need it. Are you going somewhere? Not really, but I just should have it. For what? For what? Like these weird ass decisions. They go to college, get five different degrees, can't use none of it. Can't use none of the degrees like they're worthless degrees. And we sit here and say, y'all dominate the college. We're the most educated group of women. Who told you this? Who told you this? Like, it, we kept them safe. We kept women safe. We don't hate women. We appreciate when we value women. We kept you safe. The minute you walked out the house, you're a depreciating asset. And you're making bad decisions after bad decisions after bad decision. And we never could understand why. We will never understand why. But one thing I want you to understand that is that we want a new society of women that stay home. So you don't have to blame nobody because you won't be doing nothing. You will go from your father to the husband. That's it. That's it. You don't got to say, Dubai guys are recruiting me. Your husband and your father will say, no, you're not going to Dubai. You don't got to go do the disgusting thing. I don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. It's $60,000. You don't have to do it. It's not worth it. Really? I shouldn't go to Dubai and let them guys do disgusting things to me. Yes, you're not going to do it. That's yes, you, you're staying home. OK, OK. Can you imagine having a conversation with a, a, with a grown person telling them don't go to Dubai? 
and let them guys do that disgusting thing to you? Can, can you, a whole grown person, and you saying, don't go to Dubai. I don't care how much money they offer you. Don't go do that disgusting thing. It's not worth it. Did you see the money? I don't care how much money it is. It's not worth it. There's a reason the order was always man, wife, kids. And it was never wife, husband, kids. It it just, every day they remind us why we kept them in the house. And y'all could never make me understand why we let them out. You will never make me understand why we let them out. They, they, never, they haven't shown me now one reason why we should let them out the house. I can go into depth about reasons why I believe I believe they're even bad for the economy. I won't lie to you. I believe they're bad for the economy. Bad for the economy. We can go into detail about that. I believe they're horrible for the economy. Things that was cheaper because higher because there's two people working now. Two of them. Not one, two of them. And the economy was gonna go bad, but not like this. Not like this. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. we're not gonna go too much in that. It's not a politic podcast, but it don't make no sense, guys. It's ridiculous. They're seeking them. So 